Hey guys, and welcome back to the layout once again. Uh, it's been quite a while since our last update, and as you can see, we've made a lot of progress um, on the bench work, so I thought it's about time. Uh, so we'll just do a general overview of what we've done here on the peninsula. Um, if you look at the uh, construction videos, uh, this won't be anything new, but um, again, I just wanted to do kind of a general recap of what we've done. And actually, I don't even know if I've shown you the uh, bench work in that corner down there. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, but before we do that, I want to look at a little bit of rolling stock. Um, uh, we actually finally got our uh, eBay page set up. So there's a link in the description. Um, so go check that out and you'll find these two cars for sale. So we've got a French's covered hopper. This is an Atlas uh, car and then a tank car under ENGX uh, reporting marks. Um, both of these again are for sale. This is an Athern car, I forgot to mention that. Um, they're both weathered to prototype photos, um, so go check them out on our eBay page. I also picked up this uh, BF Goodrich car, um, so I'll be weathering that soon, uh, and you can find that on eBay. Uh, and then I also weathered up this uh, Conrail boxcar um, just for fun. I already had it, but you know someone was interested, so they've they've purchased this. So this is not for sale, um, but I really like the way it turned out. I tried some new weathering techniques, and it worked out. So. Uh, again, go check out our eBay page, um, and then I'm also working on a, like an official website, um, and I'll get the link out when we're done with that, uh, since I'll have uh, more information on there um, about uh, custom work and services and pricing and all that, so that'll come a little bit uh, down the road. Anyway, we're going to move on really quick since my phone's dying, but uh, as you can see, we've made a lot of progress on the bench work, um, and you should really feel honored today. Uh, because I actually cleaned up, which is kind of amazing. That, that's really monumental. That never happened. So you'll probably never see the yard that clean again. So uh, really soak this in and appreciate it. Um, but as you can see, uh, we got the main frame up. Um, and you'll notice that it actually doesn't come all the way to the wall down here. Uh, and the reason for that is because if you uh, imagine, let's say we're standing on the other side over there, and there's the main line. Uh, the main line on the other side is going to curve this way and enter the wall back there. Uh, if you're standing on this side, that'll all be hidden by a backdrop, uh, but that main line over there does need to come this way, um, and I didn't want to have to go through uh, the backdrop or anything, so we just we cut it short there, um, and then this framework will actually tether it to the wall. Uh, so uh, this is a 17 inch deep shelf here. This is all just a one by two open grid bench work. Um, I think I may have shown this to you already, but along the half wall and down in that corner, we have uh, more open grid bench work. Um, and then down here, we built an L girder frame, uh, which is probably kind of confusing because it's actually lower than this framework, um, which seems kind of weird. Uh, but since this is the uh, end of the peninsula and we really wanted to try to conserve space, um, since we got a couple pinch points on either side, what, what's nice about this, since this is a L girder frame, as you can see, and there's kind of an overhang here, uh, you can screw up from the bottom which means that we can just put uh, one by four cross pieces across the top um, and then when we cut our sub road bed for the curve we can just make tick marks on uh, each of the one by fours determining where the edge of the layout is cut those and then screw up from the bottom and then that'll give us a really nice uh, mounting surface for the fascia <coughs> excuse me um, and then over here we have more open grid bench work as you can see we actually haven't completed this to the wall yet um, since we still need to get a few more 1x2s. Uh, this section is actually only 12 inches deep, so in total this is about a 30 inch wide peninsula, um, which makes each aisleway about 30 inches deep. And I really like the way it feels. Um, I think it's really working out well. Uh, you'll also notice this is actually at a different height than the benchwork over there, but that's because um, we'll be at a, uh, about a 1.5% incline coming out of the uh, industrial area on that side. Uh, and I apologize, I know I'm kind of all over the place, but um, I'm going to talk a little bit about some uh, uh, track plan ideas and changes that we made. So since this is going to be kind of an, an industrial area, uh, whether it be um, ethanol or just like a bunch of smaller industries, um, just kind of like a, a junction area, I don't know that yet. So if you have any ideas, tell me. But we were thinking if it did happen to be just a bunch of smaller industries and kind of a uh, like industrial complex or uh, junction area, maybe what we could do down here, since we'll have that backdrop curving, um, is have a uh, backdrop flat industry, and then to conserve space, we could actually have the tracks go through the backdrop. Since the main line on the other side, once the main line over here wraps around and it's on the other side, it'll actually be significantly higher than the tracks down here. So you could actually have cars, um, or like a little 
short track, go through the wall, so you could hold a couple hard, excuse me, a couple cars inside the building, but the building would only be two inches um, out from the backdrop. So kind of an interesting use of space, and we'll uh, we'll think more about that. Um, I don't know if that'll work out, but uh, it would be kind of a cool idea. Um, and then down here, uh, we thought. As you can see, I put a truck there, but uh, we thought maybe we'd have a truck terminal down here since we really like that on the old layout. And what we thought about doing is representing uh, both sides of the operation. So we have the trucks maybe on this side uh, with a bunch of bay doors down here um, along the backdrop, and the building would only have to be you know half an inch deep. And then over here, we'd have the other side of the building, again, only about half an inch deep um, with like a spur track uh, where you could load some boxcars or whatever. And I think that would really mask the end of the uh, the backdrop down here since this wall piece kind of ends right here and if we had the building just wrap around uh, the the backdrop there it, I mean it it compresses the building but I think it's an interesting use of the space since when you're over here you see one side of the operation and then you're over here you see the other side um, and it kind of hides the uh, transition from um, the backdrop to just open scenery here so I uh, will think more about that but just ideas and then finally just want to wrap up really quick I know I'm talking quickly um, we made a change with the yard. So before we had the main line and uh, siding track coming out right there, and then they skirted along the back of the yard. But we've made a change. We thought it might be interesting actually to have the main line and the siding come out in front of the yard. Um, so we'll just come right down here uh, on the edge of the layout and then follow that contour there. And what that allows us to do is shift uh, all the yard tracks to the back there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then that means we can use all the space back there and all that space over there, because before, if we wanted to use that space for the yard, you'd have to cut across the main line. So we just pulled the main line to the front, and now what we're thinking about doing is actually using all the space down here uh, for an engine facility um, and maybe some uh, repair and place tracks. Uh, so again, we just have the main line out front, and then that space back there uh, could hold 20 or so engines, which would be kind of an interesting idea, because um, I always wanted to model a uh, fairly significant uh, locomotive facility. So. We'll think more about that, but again, uh, just ideas, and I kind of like the, the changes that we've made. So anyway, that's all I have for today. Um, we'll definitely have more soon. I, I plan to go to Lowe's soon and pick up some more lumber um, and get more work done. But uh, this is what we've completed so far, and it won't be too long until we start uh, sub-roadbed and fascia and backdrops and actually laying track and stuff. So uh, again, make sure you check out our eBay page since we finally got that set up. Um, if you have any input on the changes we've made, please comment. Um, but other than that, uh, that's all I have for today. So thank you guys for watching and definitely look for more videos soon.